Uh, good afternoon in this particular case and uh, welcome to the Authority High School community for our latest video update. Now this week it really is just a matter of checking in and confirming a few of the things that we said last week. So the first one is um, there's now a survey that is live and it's for pupils and families to fill in together about the home learning experiences. Now what impact will this have? Well even as I speak I can tell you that this morning we looked at the survey that had already been completed by well over 100 uh, pupils and families within the school and it was all already giving us very valuable feedback about what's going well with home learning and what we need to maybe look at and improve further. On the whole, I've got to say the initial response has been very positive, but we, I promise you we'll do all we can to make the provision as strong as possible over the coming weeks and this will give us a baseline to measure from and we'll be able to see how we get on as time goes on. Now, the next thing is, we mentioned last week our concerns about pupils who had not engaged fully with their studies and how we could monitor that. Again, good news, our new approach has gone live this week and that means that we have a very structured approach to contacting uh, initially students, uh, pupils within the school and their families to let them know of any difficulties for each subject and then we've got a spreadsheet which will collate that information and allow us to see uh, what our levels of engagement are. Now, it's not just about who's not engaged. We're also very concerned to recognise pupils who are engaging, who are working hard, and this spreadsheet will automatically uh, create a praise postcard which we can email home for those pupils who are working hard and are doing their very best with their lessons throughout the school. So hopefully we'll be able to support those who are struggling and equally recognise those who are doing really well in the weeks ahead. Um, beyond that, I would say that um, the broad general, no, sorry, not the broad general, the senior phase tracking um, has now been looked at quite closely. Uh, reports obviously will be coming out and so on. And what I'd say is that the simple message is this, we're very pleased with the number of students who are carrying on with their National 5 courses, their higher courses at National 6 and so on, good healthy numbers, but we also recognise that many of those students will be feeling the strain because of what they've gone through this year, and our advice is keep going. Um, the SQA have issued advice about assessment and so on in the last week or so, but we would be thinking that a lot of that advice may have to change the longer that the lockdown goes on for. So. In terms of predicting exactly what the final assessment criteria will be, etc., etc., it's very hard to say. So, our best advice, and it's in line with what the SQA are saying, is keep going with the coursework, keep pushing yourself. If you're having difficulties, contact the subject teacher, look for help, and so on, but don't give up at this stage. It's been a difficult year, and you've really got to keep going and try and get through this your best you can, okay? Obviously, if you're having serious problems and it's causing extreme stress uh, in any course, any situation like that, contact the guidance teacher and we'll look at that more closely for you. But on the whole, the advice is keep going with the courses, keep pushing on and let's see what we can deliver this year. So as I say, the overall numbers continue with their studies at different levels is very healthy and that's really great. We just need to support that as much as possible. Again, going back to last week, I can now tell you that uh, we're pleased to say the course choice has now gone live. That means that pupils can not only look at this year's studies, but look ahead to next year and consider where that's taking them towards. However, I want to stress again, this is not a binding course choice at this stage. What it gives us is the information to be able to set the timetable, know where the demand is likely to be, but we fully expect, and this is true of any year, for changes to be made based on either exam results or change of heart and so on amongst students as they go on. Okay, so don't think this is binding, it's not, but it does give us the opportunity to plan for next year and make sure that everything goes smoothly. Now, finally, just a very quick reminder again that if your, your child is worried about school or um, struggling in any way, having difficulties, the point of contact within the school is the guidance teacher. So please contact the guidance teacher. Don't sit worrying about things. We can always find solutions and, way for, and a way forward. We just have to know about the problems, okay? So, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for all the support you're giving the school at this stage. And 
as I say, don't hesitate to get in touch if there's any problems and have a good week. Thank you.